I'm super excited about this week's project. It's another guest pattern from my good friend Fran over at Cotton and Joy. This quilt is called Squared Up, and let me show you how to make it. All right, this quilt is truly beginner friendly. It's quick and easy, but gives you a beautiful modern result. So first up, pick up the squared up pattern by Cotton and Joy. It's available here at Missouri Star, and it will walk you through four different sizes as well as different layout options. I'm just going to show you what I did today to make the throw size, which measures 60 by 71. You're also going to need two yards of background fabric for that size and you'll need one package of 10 inch squares which is why i chose this size because there's only two that you can get out of one package of 10 inch squares they're all pre-cut friendly though so keep that in mind and we're only going to use 30 of those squares today i also use this beautiful main print for the backing whatever print from the collection you choose is going to be beautiful um, but this one was my favorite so let's dive into making this all right, so first up, we are just going to grab a 10 inch square. I've got this beautiful pink with these lunar moths. I just love all of the prints in this line. And so to make this quilt, we are just going to make three cuts across our squares. So I'm gonna make the first one here and then slide this one over. And then here and so these are the pieces that we need and then in between these we're going to be putting a sashing strip so I have those cut and ready to go and they measure the same length as our pre-cut square and so we are just going to sandwich all of these together and so one after the other after the other and that is truly as simple as it is to make this block so I'm going to stack all of these up just like so and take these to the machine and we can just add one after the other. So first up, we'll add that sashing strip. Just make sure everything stays lined up. And so I'm just gonna finger press that back and then add my next piece of my print making sure that we put those right sides together and keep it all lined up all the way down. Now, if you wanted to take this to your ironing board and press in between, you absolutely could. This works well enough for me. So we are just gonna keep adding these until our block is done. piece here is ready to go. So again, we just want to make sure everything is staying, staying straight. All right, now that we have all of those sewn together, let's go ahead and give this a really good press. Here at the pressing mat, I'm just gonna roll these back, just like so. All right, so that is our block. It is truly that easy. It comes together so fast. And like I mentioned earlier, Fran has all kinds of great advice in the pattern about your different layouts. She even has some ombre options that she walks you through. And so I've got a few blocks done here. And you'll notice in the quilt behind me that these are set together with kind of like colors in a row. That's the option I went with. And so I've got my whites, my pinks, my yellows, my purple, my kind of medium blue, and then finally finishing off with the navy. So these are five across by six down, and she's used a wider sashing in between those blocks and on those rows to really give it some space and separation. And it just gives an absolutely 
beautiful finish. I love this quilt. I finished it off with a simple Baptist fan quilting pattern and it's the perfect throw, especially if you wanna put together a great little quilt for a gift or for a friend. Um, I can't recommend it enough. So I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you next time on At Home. Hey everyone, it's Misty. Thanks for watching At Home. If you aren't already a part of our Missouri Star family, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell if you want a notification every time we release a new video. I'll see you next Monday on the newest episode of At Home.